What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with Droid Modder X. Chainfire announced several weeks ago that he would be handing the reins over to another company for the development of Super SU. Now with all that being said, I was pretty shocked to see that he actually decided to go hands-on with the rooting of Android 6.0 Marshmallow. In quick order, he released a modified boot image that makes our devices rootable. I'm gonna show you guys how to root Android 6.0. Let's go ahead and get started. First on your device, what you want to do is head into settings, scroll all the way down to about phone, go down to the build number, click on that seven times until you've opened up developer options. From here, make sure that OEM unlocking is turned on, USB debugging is turned on. This root method will only work if your bootloader is unlocked. I'll be sure to include links in the description of how to unlock your bootloader. You'll need to head to the link in the description for the latest version of Super SU. So it has to be any version that's 2.50 or higher. Here we have the Super SU version 2.52. This is the latest version for now. Download this directly to your phone. We'll be flashing this later. Okay, so when you're finished with this, you're just gonna go ahead and plug in your device. Okay, you'll notice this little uh, message here that pops up USB for charging, touch for more options. You're gonna wanna change it to transfer files. You'll get a notification asking if you want to allow access to the PC. You will check always for this device and then click okay. So once you've done that, set that to the side. Okay, so on your computer, you're going to need ADB and Fastboot installed on your computer. So there's a really quick and simple and easy way to do that. It's the 15 second ADB install. I'll be sure to include a link in the description. I will include a link in the description of this page. This is where you'll download the boot image for your device. So just kind of scroll down to the bottom here and you'll see a whole list of boot images. I'm using the Nexus 6. So for me, it's going to be the Shamu boot image. Download the image and then extract it to your desktop. When you're finished with that, you're gonna to go to another link in the description to the Team Win Recovery Project page. You're gonna find your device in the list. For me, it is the Motorola Shamu Nexus 6. So I'm gonna scroll down to Motorola and I'll find the Nexus 6 Shamu. Click on that and then that'll take me to the download page here. You just go to where it says Primary Recommended. Go ahead and download that. And then just place those files in a an easy to find place. For me, I have it in an folder called Android. So if you use the ADB Fastboot 15 second install method, it is installed in your computer and you can pretty much run the commands from anywhere. If you have the SDK, you'll have to be sure to drop these files into your folder that contains the ADB and Fastboot files. So from wherever that folder is, you'll need to shift and right click and then open command window here. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna do is just verify that we do have ADB access on our device. So we're gonna say, I will type ADB devices and you should see your device listed there. Once you verify that your device is listed, we're gonna go ADB reboot boot loader. Okay, so you'll see that it will boot you into this mode here and just make sure that you are bootloader unlocked. All right, the next command that we wanna type here is fast boot, flash boot boot.img. Okay, that's gonna go ahead and flash that modified boot image. So that is complete. The next thing we wanna do is grab our Shamu twerp here. So I'm just gonna copy here. And then we'll type fast boot flash recovery. And then we'll paste the name of the image dot img hit enter that's going to go ahead and flash the recovery so when that is all finished we're going to return back to the phone scroll to where it says recovery mode and then we'll hit power that's going to boot us into team win recovery project okay so we're going to swipe to allow modifications from there we're going to go to install we'll find our download folder we'll find that super su version 2.52 zip go ahead and select that and swipe to flash root. All right, when that's all said and done, we're gonna go ahead and reboot the system. When we are fully booted, we should be rooted. Once everything's all booted up, you should find the new Super SU application here. Let's go ahead and open up Root Checker and check to see if we are indeed rooted. Okay, click Verify Root Access. We should be greeted with a Super User Request, and we are. We'll go ahead and grant that. It says, Congratulations, Root Access is properly installed on this device. 
That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks guys for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com, droidforums.net, news.howandandroid.com. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.